Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Janine. If you're new to my channel, hi and welcome. I uh, would love for you to subscribe and become part of the family. Um, I do a lot of reviews on makeup and tutorials and unboxing, all that kind of stuff. So today I have a very special video for you. I'm going to be testing out the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation. I actually went to Dillard's. You can go to any major department store and go to the Estee Lauder counter and they can color match you. Or you can go to Sephora and they can do the same thing there for you. The color that they matched me for actually was a shade lighter than the one that I got. And the reason why is because I live in Florida and because summer was coming up, I knew that I was gonna be out in the sun at the beach, going to water parks and all of that. Actually, my neck and face are a lot lighter than the rest of my body. And because I knew that and because I knew I was gonna be in the sun, I asked for them to go a shade darker just to make sure that my face was gonna be the same color as the rest of my body. Just a little bit of background about my skin. I have combination skin. I'm pretty much um, normal all around my face, but I am a little oily here in the T-zone, in this area here, and sometimes right underneath my chin. Um, I have dryness under my eyes, and I have dark circles under my eyes as well. I also have some larger pores here and here, and a little bit of redness um, on my cheeks, as well as some freckles, which I'm okay with. So I just wanted to test this out and see how well it covers. I'm gonna be using my Beauty Blender to apply it. What I'm gonna do is um, half of my face, I'm going to use a color corrector underneath and then the foundation. And then on the opposite side, I'm just gonna do the foundation just to see how well it covers up my dark circles because that is one of my big issues that I have um, with foundations or concealers not really covering up my dark circles. So if you have that same problem, we about to find out how well this works. I know MAC sells a pump that you can put on these. I just want to show you an up close how the bottle looks and also what it claims that it does. It says that it, the double wear stay in place makeup is for all skin types. 15 hours staying power. I almost thought it said slaying power. I'm like, yes, girl, yes. 15 hours staying power looks fresh and flawless through the heat, humidity, nonstop activity. Okay, we're gonna see because you know what? It's very humid here in Florida where I live. It's like a swamp out there, you guys. It's hot. If it's 90 something, it feels like it's 100 and something degrees outside. It says it won't change color, smudge, or come off on clothes. Lightweight and so comfortable, you won't believe it's long wear. Medium buildable coverage, won't clog pores, oil controlling, oil free, fragrance free, dermatologist and ophthalmologist tested. Okay, so. A lot of what it claims to be um, medium buildable coverage. So it's medium, but you can build it up and make it, I guess, up, up to a fuller coverage, I'm, I'm guessing. And it won't clog uh, your pores. So it's uh, non-comedonic. Com is that the right word? It's non-comedonic, non which means that um, if it's non-clogging, if it doesn't clog your pores, that's good because it won't cause you to get comedones, which are the whiteheads, blackheads. Um, and it's oil controlling, so this would be good for someone that has oily skin. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and put it on. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this side first, and then I'm going to color correct on this eye, and then put it on that side of my face. I wish I got the pump from MAC, you guys. So there it is right there. Um, the consistency is not thick. It's not too runny, but it is uh, more of a liquid, whereas some of these are like thick, you know what I mean? I already put down a primer on my face. I'm trying out the Lush Magical Morninga, or Morninja. Um, it's supposed to be good for um, pore refining. So I've been testing that out to see how well it works. I really need the pump, y'all. Okay, let's go.
I want you guys to get a close up. This is without. I think it looks pretty good. And if y'all see, matches the rest of my body. All right, I think I will go ahead and do the other half of my face. I'm gonna go ahead and color correct. I'm gonna be using the Femme Couture Get Corrected CC Hydrating Corrector. And it is in the color Apricot. I purchased this at Sally's Beauty Supply and it's hydrating. So if you're somebody that has dark circles and you're really dry under the eyes, um, this works really, really well. I like it and it's hydrating. I just wanna see um, how this foundation works with a color corrector and without a color corrector to see how all the coverage is. Make sure you use your ring finger when you're working under your eye because your ring finger as opposed to your uh, your first two fingers, these two, is um, a lot less stronger so it doesn't apply as much pressure under your eyes because you don't want to be rubbing your eyes and doing all this causing premature wrinkles and tugging and damaging capillaries or anything like that. So this is a pretty good job just by itself. Um, for those of you that have under eye circles, it's nice and hydrating, it's nice and smooth and buttery. It does not dry your under eye out. That's one of my problems. Okay, now that that's on, I'm gonna go ahead and put the foundation on this side of my face. So that side is done. Without the color corrector and with the color corrector. So I think that they look pretty even. Let me move up closer for you guys so you can see. I really like this coverage. It doesn't feel drying on my face. I do feel like it's very lightweight. I feel like it's very buildable, but just with that thin layer that I put on, I feel like it did a good job um, with coverage. I felt like it went a long way, you know what I mean? I'm going to go ahead and resume with the rest of my routine. I'm going to go ahead and use the um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser in the color Neutralizer. This is what I use all the time. Now that that's all blended out, I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I use a setting brush for that and I lightly dust it underneath. That just helps my under eyes not to get dehydrated. Like I said, I get really dry under the eyes so I don't like a lot of powder under my eyes for that reason. Now I'm gonna go with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. Um, this is like my go-to um, contour, I just love it. This color right here is what I use all the time. And I've been liking this little brush that I got in my Ipsy from Glamour Dolls, or it's a Lisa Frank edition.
Now I'm gonna go in with some blush. I am going to use the Model Co blush. The shade is called Peach Bellini. It's such a, pr a pretty color. I love it. It's a peach color and it has this nice like iridescence about it and it just gives like this nice healthy glow. Sometimes I just wear this by itself without contour. Gonna give myself some cheeks, y'all. I'm plus size, I need the illusion. Now I'm gonna go in and get the setting powder off and kind of press it in and wipe it all off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my highlight. And this is my go-to Becca Champagne Pop. You guys already know. Look at that. Mm. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow. And I actually custom made a palette through Coastal Scents. I'm loving it right now, you guys. If you guys are interested in that, I will leave the video um, up here. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this, do my eyes, finish everything up, and let you guys get a final look at the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Okay guys, so I'm all done with my makeup. I want you guys to get an up close look. I think that this foundation is really really nice i really love the coverage i'm really really impressed what do you guys think comment down below tell me what you think about this foundation in my opinion i feel like it covered up um, more than medium coverage it did cover up my under eye circles and it covered up my freckles and it evened out my skin tone i would say that this foundation is a matte finish it's not a satin it's not luminous um I would say it's matte. So if you like the matte look, if you're someone that has oily skin or combination skin, this would be great for you. I don't think that it's drying at all. To me, it doesn't feel drying. I don't know if I mentioned already, but I'm looking at both sides and I feel like on camera, it looks um, to me like they both look similar. So I would say that it works very well for people that have under eye circles. I mean, I still do see a little bit of darkness here, but for the most part, I think it did a pretty good job of covering because I feel like both sides look almost, if not symmetrical um, or identical um, underneath the eyes. I really like the way that this covered. I like the texture and the feel of it. It is very lightweight. Only time will tell you guys. So I will be going out today and I will get back with you guys just to do a follow up. It's a little bit after 1 p.m. in the afternoon. So we'll check back with you later on tonight to see how well this um, held up in the heat and humidity outside. All right guys, I'll check back in with you. Hey guys, I'm back. I just wanted to check in with you and give my full review and what I think and my feelings about the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Um, it is now after 11 p.m. at night, so I've had this on for over 10 hours. Um, I was shopping today. It was really hot today. It was really humid. It even rained at one point when we were bringing our groceries in the house. So a lot of stuff was going on with the weather. But look at my skin, you guys. I even took a nap. I fell asleep and then I woke up and I was like, oh my God, I got to record this video. Um, it didn't move. And I forgot to tell you guys that I did set my face with um, the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And literally, you guys... I only see like a little bit of creasing under my eyes, um, but other than that, it stayed on really well. So the claims are like being like all day um, and stayed matte. I didn't get oily. Um, and on their website, if you go to Estee Lauder's website or if you read any of the reviews on this um, on the foundation, it actually tells you that it has 24 hour staying power. So. I mean, I ain't trying to have a sun for 24 hours, but I've had it on for 10 hours and I can see that it's a really, really good foundation. I'm really pleasantly surprised. Um, also, if I didn't mention it before, they also have a really wide um, 
color selection. They have 38 colors. You shouldn't have a problem finding a shade. Um, Estee Lauder covers a lightweight version of this foundation and it's it's targeted towards people that have oily skin, that have acne, that want to let their um, skin breathe. And it's a very lightweight, but it's also very full coverage. So if you're someone that has that type of skin, you may want to even look into that. Or you can always go to Estee Lauder or to Ulta or Sephora, wherever they're selling Estee Lauder products. And you can ask for samples so you can try out the double wear and you can try out the lightweight and see which one you like better. You know what I mean? I give this a 10 out of 10. I'm really surprised um, at how well it um, stayed on. It didn't like melt off my face. I can't tell you guys the humidity in Florida is so bad that my face will melt. Like I will sweat my makeup off or it will come off on my clothes. It did not come off on my clothes. I'm telling you, I fell asleep. It took me a nice two hour nap, but you guys can see for yourself. This is such a wonderful foundation. Like everything stayed in place, nothing moved. And I'm really, really happy um, with my new foundation. I think this is going to be my go-to high-end. Um, if I did not mention, the price of this foundation is $39.50. Pretty much everywhere I look, it's $39.50. Um, so it is a good, you know, 40 bucks. But you know, you get what you pay for, and I think that it's 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 worth the. $40 for it and a little bit goes a long way. I didn't really use much um, The only thing I don't like about the foundation is the fact that it doesn't have a pump nozzle But you can always buy one at Mac and um, it works fine with it. I've seen some reviews online and I believe it's like $10 so We can fix that y'all and I can always take it out and put it in my new bottle once I get it So I'm really, really happy you guys and I thank you so much for watching if you guys have this foundation already um Tell me what you think about it. Leave it down below. Um, any questions about skin tone or shades, um, I would suggest that you go to the store and speak to someone and have them color match you. That would probably be the best bet because they have such a wide shade range or color range. So, you guys, um, thank you so much. You guys have a nice day. I love you. Bye.